some people consider four wheels insufficient. Otherwise there is no point, as in another pair of wheels will always increase weight and surface friction. It has its advantages like more traction or crank capacity though, and can be used truly in very different ways. March 240. Two wheels leading, four wheels driven, and zero trailing wheels. That's the secret about this mysterious name. Mars' ridiculous four-rear wheels concept could have been easily made by adding a transmission case to the back, which meant that the car was four-wheel drive. The idea had a potential, but was killed due to the added weight and mainly a lack of fun. Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. Interestingly, you need a truck driving license in Europe to be able to drive it, as its weight is over 3.5 tons. The 6x6 was created by extending and raising the original G-Class, with added portal axles for a better ground clearance. It also featured a compressor for tire pressure adaptation on go, with 5 locking dips. Tyrell P-34 During mid-70s, the front wing width was stipulated to 1.5 meter, and normal-sized wheels could not get covered behind it, which increased lift. Guys at Tyrell experimented with small wheels, which on one side had small contact patch, but they added a second pair to compensate that. It had its issues, but managed to achieve third place in constructors and drivers' championships. Dodge T-Rex This may be rather new for many, but Dodge actually built this 6x6 prototype two decades ago. The power came out of a modified Magnum V10 with high compression pistons, billet crankshaft, modified cam and tubular headers. There was also a computer-controlled air suspension for superior ride comfort and a strengthened transmission. Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6. The base price is $349,000, which is not as crazy as the AMG's price tag, but they do get less of a car anyway. Besides, that new powertrain is the Velociraptor's engine set up to 610 horsepower, 20 inch wheels with 30 open country tires, and while it is almost 3 tons heavy, it can reach the 100 km power speed in just 4.9 seconds. Williams FW08B. Before the 08B, there was the FW07D, based on its predecessor, but the concept was pretty much the same. They thought about adding a turbo to keep up with the turbocharged cars, or reducing frontal area and improving overall aerodynamics. Smaller wheels helped the idea, and similar to the March car, they experimented with twin rear axles, both powered.
Land Rover 6x6. The Land Rover could still be classified as a normal passenger car rather than a truck, and although there is no officially built Land Rover with six wheels, there were various companies which made a Land Rover 6x6. One such car was the Land Rover Prenti, developed for Australian Army with Isuzu engines. Renault 5 Turbo Christian De Leotard was a sucker for six-wheel cars. He owned his 6x6 G-Wagon before the official model came out, and amongst his creation was also this Renault 5. There was a standard model, but there was also the Renault 5 Turbo, which wasn't a true 6x6, but had twin 1.4 litre turbo engines, one for front wheels, the other one for rear pair, with middle ones trailing. Sadly, the car was destroyed in fire. Panther 6 Inspired by the Tyrell car, the Panther 6 received Cadillac's 500 cubic inch unit, which was accompanied by a twin of turbochargers. This large 8.2 litre was placed above the rear axle with 16 inch wheels. Up front was a quartet of 13 inch wheels to steer only, and supposedly the Panther could reach a speed of 200 miles per hour. Covini 6XW This Italian two-seater project with four front wheels was launched in the 70s, but due to the lack of low-profile tires, it was revived during 2000s. As a power unit, constructors chose to use an Audi 4.2 litre, operated to 440 horsepower, placing it in the middle. The C6W was made of a fiberglass, carbon fiber, with steel tubular frame.